So, hello guys and welcome back to another video. Since we are nearing the end of 2019, I thought it would be a good time for me to map out my goals for the year 2020. So, the year 2019 for me has been like the craziest year for me. So, this is the year where me and my friends now go to different schools. This is the year where my grandma sadly passed away. The year where I have to adjust to a new education curriculum. The year I started trying new things. And of course, the most stressful year for me for academics. And please, don't get me started on biology grinding me till May next year. And all those AP classes killing me. Now, with all that aside, I decided I really want to set realistic goals that I know I am capable of achieving and not impossible goals that I will just keep dreaming for the rest of the year. So for the theme of, this, of designing my 2020 goals page, I chose a Christmas theme since this 2020 goal page is an Instagram collab with Stadiita. So I just doodled Christmas designs like Christmas sweater, gingerbread man, Christmas wreath, snowman, and Christmas tree. And I just used a 0.38mm gel pen to trace my outline and left the paper for about 2 hours to dry the ink. After that, I erased all the pencil outline and started coloring the doodles with my markers, which is a very bad idea because you shouldn't add too much pressure to the marker or else the color will darken and the paper will feel very damp because of the ink. So during the later part, you will see those consequences. And after that, it's time to make the title page. So I just use a green and red marker because of Christmas theme again to make the title page that says 2020 goals. And now for the fun part, it's time to set my goals. My first goal is to procrastinate less. Part of the reason why I sleep late and always stressing of not finishing homeworks or finishing studying for a test is because of procrastinating. My forms of pro procrastination is usually going on Instagram, watching YouTube videos, or just reorganizing my desk, but mostly going to social media. So each day, I want to limit my time on social media for about only 30 minutes or at most 45 minutes to help me get better grades, sleep earlier, a better eye health, and of course to lower my addiction to social media. My next goal is to ace the SAT. On March, I will be taking the SAT and I only have one chance to do this. So, most of the colleges that accept the SAT only require a 1350 for the minimum, but of course, I want to challenge myself to get at least a 1400 or better since I know I'm capable of doing this if I can only improve on the English part which only gets around 550 or at most 650, so I want to level it up at least on a 700 scale. And getting a 1400 will also give me more of a chance to get a scholarship, so hoping I will do well in the SAT. My next goal is to ace the AP test. Now, getting a high grade in the AP test will let colleges accept lower SAT scores. So of course, in case I don't do well in the SAT, I have to ace the AP test. Also, acing the AP test will allow you to skip introductory college courses and it allows you to take harder classes in college. So I really want to get a 5 in my AP Calculus AB and AP English Language but 
I am also okay with just getting a 4 but a 5 will be great. My next goal is to ace the college entrance exams. In the Philippines, each college has its own college entrance exam that you will have to take and that exam will basically determine whether you can go into the college or not. Unless of course if you are an athlete and you are applying for their athletes like athlete sports. So scholarships are also based on how well you do in the exam and only like the top 10 can get the full scholarship which means your tuition is free and the top 20 or top 30 will get half of the half scholarship which means you only have to pay 50% of the tuition. So doing well on these exams means a lot to not just me but to the Filipino students as well. My next goal is to use my planner often. I have noticed that during August till December, I did not use my planner that much, which resulted to me forgetting about deadlines and not knowing what to do for a particular day. So in 2020, I got myself a planner that I know will cater to my needs and I want to use it fully. I want to fully use it for keeping me organized and up to date with deadlines as well as making to-do lists for every single day. Because isn't it just nice knowing that you know the important events that will be happening the next day and knowing you are ready and have accomplished the task for the day? And I will also be doing a review video of that planner that I got next week, so stay tuned. My next goal is to have a final college list. This was actually supposed to be due this year, but I still can't decide whether I will be applying to three schools in particular. So before summer, I want to have a final list of what colleges I plan to apply so I can get started with writing the essays for each college as well as getting all the requirements needed for each college and I'm also planning to do early decisions for some colleges that I really want to go to. My last goal is to try yoga. I am a very inflexible person to the point I can't even touch my toes without bending my knees. So in 2020, I want to try to do yoga for at least 10 minutes a day to not only improve my flexibility but to also de-stress my mind and also relax my body. And this is how my 2020 goal page looks like. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!